today's video. I hope you guys are having a great week. Today I wanted to share with you guys 10 beauty related items that I like to pick up at my local dollar store. And these are items that I use on a pretty regular, almost all of them I use on a daily basis. And you can pick up these items at a variety of different stores, big box stores, drug stores, maybe grocery stores, depending on where you live. Um, and the prices of these items can really fluctuate from store to store, but I feel like you really can find them for the lowest amount at the dollar store. And while there are things that I don't purchase at the dollar store because I feel like they really do lack quality, and I would rather, you know, fork out a little extra money for better quality and certain products, I feel like these products, you know, are all are all pretty standard and that you really can just save some money by purchasing them at your local dollar store. So without further ado, let me show you guys my 10 most purchased, repurchased, favorite dollar store beauty related items. Haven't quite figured out the title for this video yet. So the first beauty related item that I always like to pick up at my dollar store is just a good old box of Q-tips. These are not the actual Q-tip brand. Um, they are called Soft Swabs. These are $1.25 for about a gazillion. There are so many Q-tips in here. It takes me forever to go through a whole box of these. And I mostly use these to tidy up like winged liner gone wrong or to really cleanse my lower lash line at night. I like to dip a Q-tip in a little bit of coconut oil and rub it on my lower lash line and get rid of any liner or mascara or, you know, shadow that is there. I find that a little bit of a tricky spot to clean and I feel like a Q-tip just does the best job. So while these are not the Q-tip brand, I feel like they are just the same and they are only $1.25. Next item I wanted to mention are these makeup sponges. These I think were like $1.25-ish, maybe, something like that. You get 24 in a pack. I reuse these a couple times before I throw them out. The main thing I like to do with these are to bake under my eyes. So I will take one of these sponges, this is the one I just used, dip it in my powder, and it just picks up the perfect amount of powder, and it applies the bake a little bit more precisely than a brush, in my opinion, packs it on a little bit denser, and then I just use a big fluffy brush to wipe everything away, and it just really, really helps with that baking process if that's something that you're into, which I really do like for under my eyes. These are amazing. Of course, you can use them to apply foundation or you know concealer, whatever you like, um, especially if you are wanting to do someone else's makeup and you don't want to use your brushes. Um, you know, it's nice to have these on hand. I know people stop in my friends for, you know, like makeup or whatever. And if I don't have a clean brush, I can just grab one of these. You can purchase these at a lot of different places. You can spend a lot of money on them, but these ones work really well for me and they're like under $2. Next, I wanted to talk about cotton balls. These, again, were $1.25 for like a ton. How many are in here exactly? A hundred. Okay, a hundred cotton balls. I like to use these specifically to take my nail polish off, especially my toes. I usually get my nails done, but I like to paint my toes myself and I like to use these just to remove the polish. I find they work a lot better than, you know, basic tissue or paper towel. And it usually only takes me about two cotton balls to take all my polish off. These are 100% pure cotton, hypoallergenic, made in Canada, all that good stuff. A buck 25 for 100, I don't think you can go wrong. Next beauty related item that I always pick up at the dollar store are disposable razors. And this is more of a recent thing for me. I used to be a little bit more of a razor snob. But I realized that I just, I don't know, these for me personally, and I understand this is a personal preference, these work just as well as some of the razors that I was paying, you know, $20 for and having to always replace the blades. I feel like they were just getting dull very quickly and I'd rather just spend that money elsewhere. This pack of five is by the brand Persona. They're basically just like the Bic razors and they are $1.50 for a pack of five. They work really well for me. They do have the lubricating strips on them as well. So they're very gentle. And I mean, $1.50 for five razors, I just, I don't think you can go wrong. Okay, so I wanted to talk about a few hair items. The first being just basic hair elastics. You can spend so much money on these and I used to, you know, even just at Walmart pay like $6 for a, a, just like a basic set of black elastics. These are all Canadian dollars as well. If you're in the US, these prices are gonna be a little bit lower, but this was $2 for 40 just plain black 
professional quality, it says on the tab here, um, elastics. My daughter and I go through these all the time. I have another pile sitting here that I also picked up at the dollar store. I just stopped paying a lot of money for elastics because I felt like these ones were totally fine. I do really like some of the bobble ones that you can pick up at Sephora. Um, I will, you know, have a couple of these on hand. But for day to day, especially if like I'm putting my daughter's hair in like pigtails or doing something that requires multiple elastics, these are totally fine. Two dollars for 40, again, just a really good deal. And then along the same lines, I also like to pick up bobby pins from the dollar store. This is a new pack that I picked up today, but I have the same pack sitting here on my vanity. You get 60, um, it says double coated bobby pins for a dollar. And again, something that I use often, I like to throw my hair in a messy bun and I'll often just like take the, take the ends and pin them. Stop paying a lot of money for these. I just go to the dollar store, I pay a buck for 60 and I'm not like so crazy about keeping track of them all. Um, because they're just, they're a lot more affordable. One more hair related item, um, and that is just a good old fashioned wide tooth comb. This is one that I have had for a while. Um, I picked this up at the dollar store, I don't know how long ago, but I love using these to comb my hair out when it is wet. Um, this was probably a dollar, dollar twenty-five, something like that. I use it often. I also like having these, you know, wide tooth combs to create parts if I'm doing like pigtails or different styles on my daughter's hair. And today when I was filming in the dollar store just to show you guys some of the different prices, I picked up the wet comb. This was a dollar twenty-five, but it's got a really nice grippy handle and I can already tell it's gonna be really, really nice for combing through wet hair um, and styling it. I mean, again, if you've got a little one and you want to do braids or something it's always nice to have these wide tooth combs to create like nice even parts but if you don't and you're just doing your own hair these do do a nice job of just really brushing through and detangling so this one even has some glitter in it i just noticed it's got like this little shimmery finish i like it and this was a dollar 25. A couple travel sort of beauty related items. If you are into traveling you know that of course when you're getting on a plane or even if you're just going on a car trip somewhere, um, you probably don't want to take a great big bottles of shampoo and conditioner and all that stuff and you need to get these little travel tubes and you can pay a lot of money for these at certain stores but at the dollar store these two little tubes were only $1.25. Um, I also picked up these ones and these ones I like a little bit better. They just, well they look cooler let's be honest. These were $3.50, they were a little bit more money, but let me just open them up here. What I really like about these is that they are like super, super bendy and you can really just get all of the liquids out of them. Um, whereas these ones, I mean, you can squeeze them, but these are just gonna be a little bit easier to, to get max use out of, you know, whatever potions and lotions and liquid you're packing, you know? So these were two for $3.50, they hold two ounces, they look like little light bulbs. I really like these. Um, and these ones are also two ounces and they are $1.25 each. Um, now again, they're totally fine, but if you really wanna be able to like squeeze all your liquids out, I recommend these little rubberized ones. They're a little bit, a little bit easier to use, but again, just a great price. So while we're talking about travel items, I wanted to mention this little bag. I call these wet bags and they are perfect to store your little travel liquid um, bottles in. You can just throw them in and then if anything leaks, you don't have to worry about everything getting all over your suitcase or your purse. I even like to throw these in my beach bag in the summer. Um, I have a couple larger ones, so if my kids are swimming, they can put their wet swimming uh, suits or trunks or shorts or whatnot in one of these and then the water's not getting all over the place. They work really well. This one I really like specifically for beauty related products, toiletries and you know makeup and whatnot because you can actually open it up and it forms this flat kind of shape. You can lay it down on a bed. This is great if you're at a hotel and then you can lay out all of your you know makeup products or whatever you have in here. It also has a little zipper so you can store like tweezers or whatnot. Um, and then you can use it as kind of like a placemat or like, you know, I always lay a towel out if I'm in a hotel on the bed if I'm doing my makeup. But this just makes everything easy. You can open it up, put all your makeup on it, and then when you're done, all you do is just pull the little tab here and cinch it back together. And then all your, you know, whatever you have in here, makeup, toiletries, whatnot, um, 
are safe and secure in the bag again. Now I wouldn't store like pallets and stuff like that in here. Really I like to store like moisturizers, cleansers, um, a lot of skincare, maybe some primers, liquids and things like that um, because you know it's, it's not going to protect and there isn't like a ton of room in here. But um, for $2, I think this is a really great way to store your liquids and use your little travel bottles. Two more items, which I think actually makes 11. Bonus. First thing I wanted to mention is a pumice stone. And again, you can purchase these in a variety of places. You can get them at a spa for quite a bit of money. This is $1.25, it comes on a little rope. I have one just like this in my shower. And if you get in the habit of using this every time you're in the shower, it will make such a difference in your feet. Um, just use it on your heels, use it on like any other sort of like calloused areas and it just helps to smooth everything out and just keep your feet feeling really soft and you know if you're like me and maybe you lack getting a pedicure throughout the winter um i'm more of a summer pedicure kind of girl this just helps to really keep your feet looking good throughout the winter month okay last but not least and this might seem like a bit of an odd beauty item but just bear with me Warm, fuzzy socks. I love these, my feet are always cold. I'm just a very cold person in general. Um, but at night, after I have a shower or if I'm in the bathtub or something, I love to put moisturizer on, put some moisturizer on my feet, and then put on a really nice pair of cozy socks. And it's gonna help to lock in the moisture and really just keep your feet soft and nourished. This particular pair I did pay $3 for, so they were a little bit more, but I could just tell that they were a really nice quality and that they're not just gonna fall apart. They're like double lined. Um, so yeah, I recommend picking up a really nice pair of fluffy soft socks from your dollar store um, and just like putting them on, like I said, at night after you've moisturized and used your pumice stone and your feet will feel really, really nice the next day. So that is it for my 10, 11 beauty items that I like to purchase at the dollar store. Let me know what beauty related items you guys like to purchase from the dollar store. I'd love to hear from you guys. I always appreciate when you leave me a comment. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs, thumbs, what? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it if you like. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Take care of each other guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.